Ah, 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 Distributors, retailers, Energex, Agon, AGL, generators, forecast of lack of reserve, transmission, COAG, FCAS, LRC, MLM, NER, NTP. The spot market is complicated. Let's simplify it using our burger analogy. Let's say McDonald's operates a burger market. They get all their burgers from seven registered burger makers or burger generators. Every five minutes, each burger generator can only make a maximum number of burgers. That's called their registered capacity. Every five minutes, there is a maximum 30 burgers available to the McDonald's market. Each hamburger generator tells McDonald's how many burgers they have available for that five minute period and what price they are prepared to sell them for. Four shops each say they have all their burgers available to sell for $5. Another two say they will sell four at $10 each and another will sell just two, but at $15 each. So McDonald's now has a supply stack, a burger stack, where each burger supply is stacked on top of each other in price order from lowest to highest. The stack tells McDonald's that if they need to sell 20 burgers to meet demand, the price will be $5. If 21 to 28 burgers are required, the price is $10, whereas if there is more than 28 burgers needed, the price will be $15. McDonald's estimates that there are 28 burgers needed. That sets the price, meaning all the burgers sold will be $10 each. McDonald's notes which maker's burgers were sold. Every burger generator who sells burgers gets $10 for each burger they supplied to McDonald's. The other two burgers offered to the burger market, which weren't needed, go to waste and the burger maker who bid them in didn't get any money. Then, the process starts again for the next five minutes which is lucky as we're always needing more energy and birds.